I'm Steve Carrigan from Henley Bridge and today we're going to show you how to make gelato cakes and how to glaze them. For a full list of the equipment required and recipes, please see the description section of the video. So to start you need 500 grams of cream and 500 grams of pre-made gelato. Today I'm doing vanilla so I've flavoured the gelato with vanilla but I've also flavoured the cream with vanilla. So you get the same intense flavour that you would do with a regular gelato in your gelato cake. It's also important to make sure that your gelato is at scooping temperature around minus 12, minus 13, because if it's too cold, it's very difficult to work with in this process. You'll also need a silicon mold and a sponge, which will become the base. So I've taken my cream and I've whipped it in my machine to a nice soft peak. You don't want to over whip it at this stage. Then we need to remove the cream. Don't worry about getting every last bit of cream out. Then we add our gelato. And then once we've got the gelato in there, we're gonna whip the gelato only for a minute until the gelato sticks to the side of the bowl. And then we need to mix the two together for a minute. So now I'm just gonna put my mixture into a piping bag. And now we fill our mold. Then just give it a little tap down and then we put on our sponge. So that's our cake finished. You can now pop this into your blast freezer to freeze it. That'll take up to about two hours or you can pop it in a regular freezer overnight. So the next stage is to demold your cake and prepare it ready for glazing. So once you've taken your cake out of the freezer, now we need to take it out of the mold. Literally just rip the mold from the cake. Then we're going to sit it onto two paper cups onto our cooling wire and tray which is going to catch our excess glaze later on. This allows us when we glaze it we get a nice clean edge around the bottom of the cake and pop that into the blast freezer for 20 minutes. That process is quite critical because the surface temperature of our cake needs to be really really cold. If it's not cold enough the glaze will just fall off. So after your cake's been in the blast freezer for 20 minutes you need to prepare your glaze. The critical part of this is getting the temperature correct. Check the label on the one you're using because they have different working temperatures. The one we're using is the Fragrola, so the strawberry. The working temperature is between 45 and 50. That is critical. If it's at 44, it will not work. If it's at 51, it will not work. It has to be between 45 and 50. So warm your glaze up gently in the microwave. Try not to over stir it because you'll introduce too many air bubbles. Keep checking the temperature. When you're in between 45 and 50, you're ready to glaze your cake. Okay, so we have our cake, it's ready to glaze. The secret with this is just to pour it on. Make sure you put plenty on. Any excess you can use again, and then just let it drip. Don't touch it, just leave it for at least 10 seconds. If you have managed to miss any little bits, like here, you can just dab it in with a palette knife. We clean the bottom edge up with a straight palette knife so we get a nice clean edge for going onto our board which we've pre-frozen so that, that the cake when it goes on the board there's no chance of it melting. Then to put it onto the board use two angle palette knives, pick it up and then you can remove the, the cups. Then we need to pop that back in the blast freezer for about 30 seconds. These can also be stored for up to six months and best served at minus 18 because you can cut it nice with a knife. 